All righty, welcome back to the Vessel Brie. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. This is going to be your ancestors' message, your ancestors' message, okay? What your ancestors need you to know at this time, what they're trying to communicate with you at this time. I've already done my prayer of protection. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it for the sign of Virgo, right? This will be your ancestor message. You could be from Virginia. You could be from um, Raleigh, all right? I'm being Honduras, Honduras. You could be from Honduras. Honolulu, you could be from Honolulu, you could be from Hawaii, okay? Um, you could live in a desert, a deserted um, place, or I'm hearing efficiency. And the name Lay could be significant, Lay, okay? You're going through a huge transformation at this time. I'm also getting you could have someone who could just someone could have passed over recently. It could have been an Aquarius. Yes. This could have been a grandmother figure. It doesn't have to be. I'm getting a feminine energy. They could have been very wise. They were the glue to the family. They were the glue to your life. They helped you make very wise, calculated decisions. Okay. I'm getting that this, this feminine energy that has passed over could have been six years ago, six months ago. They left you something physically and spiritually okay they could have left you something i'm hearing in a will to help balance out your financial plummet is what i'm hearing yes check on that they may have left you a gift you and your sister you yeah that's what i'm getting you and another person you and your mother daughter Something about your womb, the portal of your womb is very, very, it's being cleansed, is very significant. This ancestor, this grandmother, this mother, this feminine energy that has crossed over wants you to learn about your womb. They want you to learn about the portal of your womb, sexuality. They want you to learn about the importance of keeping your womb cleansed, the health benefits. They want you to understand how royal you are. You are a queen and you need to be careful of who you give to, who you give yourself to. You are a queen or king, gender, there's no gender in tarot. They're balancing out your womb is what I'm getting. You, you have a gift. During childbearing, you understanding the gift of being able to give life itself. Understanding that you are the giver of life. They want you to understand that and to research and come more into touch with who you are. Just exactly who you are. I do feel like this is for a woman, okay? But these messages can resonate for a man. That was for a very specific, yes, um, confirmation. That was a very, very specific person, okay? Oh, so they want you to stand in your truth. They want you to recognize and hearing or research the truth so that you can beat or get out of the illusions. They're helping you escape the illusions. Ari, Ari. Yes, because you feel like possibly I'm hearing a split between religion and spirituality or a split between two stories, two truths, two mantras. And you're sitting right in the midst of the illusion, feeling blind, feel folded, as you, you cannot see. So they're here to tell you right now at this time, you are royalty. You are queen. You are love. You are light, 
you are pure, you are destined, you are destiny. You are balanced. You could have Libra in your chart. They're guiding you to come towards the calmer waters. I'm also hearing there's no wrong or right choice for everything is connected and expands your understanding of life. Yes, because you could have been dealing with something that you feel is unjustified or you feel as if what you choose to believe or stand in is unjustified. But I'm seeing you're just investing in your growth and your healing and your nature for some in your car. You're investing in your destined path. You are a king or queen who has not awakened to their royal nature. I'm hearing as simple as that, literally. You are a king or queen who is unawakened to their royal nature, to how much has been invested into them, or to how much has been invested into you. So that's exactly who you are. For some, you did have slaves as ancestors, but that's not who they were. That's who they were labeled and programmed to think possibly or believe or you. But that's not who they were. They were royal. They were kings. They were queens. That is your history. I'm hearing your history is not slavery. You are not a slave. You are royal. You have a palace, your own kingdom. Your 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 and your and your history. You guys lived in, I'm hearing chalice. You drank from the chalice. You lived in kingdoms. You were in the chariot those times. I'm hearing Cleopatra. Egyptian. You sat in the fruits of your kingdom. Yes, you worked for it. Yes, you planted those seeds. Yes, you had to harvest. But then you got to sit with your gifts and your fruits of your labors on your throne as the king or the queen. That is your history. No, you were not a slave. That may have been a part of a human experience that your ancestors experienced, but their spiritual nature, it did not take away the fact that they were and are still royalty. They planted that inside of you and they want you to understand that is who you are. You are not your experiences. And your ancestors want you to know that they were not their experiences. They went through it, so you did not have to. I'm hearing you're welcome. Your ancestors are very raw, but you go. It's number eight, eleven, eleven. This is a new gift being given to you. Accept and receive it. Understand that what you are putting into financially, physically, spiritually, mentally, your efforts that you are working so hard, grinding against the bone, it will be worth it. It will work out. You are going to get towards your, you are on your destined path. You are being guided towards your destiny. You are being moved away from what no longer served you, from investments that were unjustified, from things that were not fair, from the lies. I'm hearing from the lies of a, of a religion or spirituality or of, of the world. You're now investing in your destiny, in your path, in your purpose, who you are. You're being moved away from the common crowd, from the common expectations, because you validate yourself. You are already, you were already validated before you touched this earth and you understand how everything else simply in your life right now, you feel it's just not a, it's not, it's not doing it for you because you're focused on who you are, what you're meant to be doing. You're focused on, or they're guiding you to be focused on your roots, on your growth. You're a leader. Some of you guys, you're meant to be a business owner. You're meant to rule. This is not a dictatorship is what I'm hearing. This is free will. You are free. 
The letter K could be significant. The letter Q could be significant. Here you are being guided away from unbalanced situations. So you can balance out your, your nature, 2-2. Two, two. Angel number 2-2 two, two could be significant. You're collaborating with spirits, with, with, your, with the gods, with your ancestors, with your ascended masters. They're bringing in your ships. They're bringing in your gifts. The story of Moana is very significant for you. You want to go against the grain. But it's not even that you want to, you're being called to. And yeah, just because it's hard at times, you may be at the investing period wondering, is it going to get to the eight of pentacles? Am I going to get to work? Is it going to get to the nine where it's worth it, where I get the abundance? Am I going to get to that king of pentacles where I get to sit in the fruits of my labor? You already are. You're continuing to do that. You will just look back when you was at the at the six and the five. Weren't you just at some point feeling like you were abandoned in poverty, like you couldn't do it, like you wouldn't find the keys, and then you got up and you went to the six of pentacles. You 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 found your equal take and give. You offered that within yourself. You work with God. You work with spirit. You work with your angel gods, your ancestors. Then you got to the seven. Now you're wondering, is it worth it? Yes, it is. They the mission was not meant to be easy. At this point in time, it is meant to provoke growth. But you are in touch where you are being led on your mission, on your destined path towards your purpose. Yes, you are. And it will be worth it. You have to keep believing in the faith. You may feel as if your wishes were, were not fulfilled. Possibly those were not the wishes that were going to fulfill you in the first place. Possibly they were unjustified to begin with. And now your guides, they're ready to fill you up with something that will be prosperous, that will be worth it, that you can invest in for long-term stability and growth. They're teaching you how to invest in yourself for you to see that you are enough, that peace comes from within comes from within trusting God, the universe, your gods, your ancestors, understanding that they laid the foundation for you. Now you simply get to enjoy and walk through and on that foundation. You are a part of the journey. This is your contract. You are committed to this. You are committed to investing. They're, they're helping you commit to investing in yourself, investing in this path, investing in this journey, investing in your purpose. You are gifted. You are a gift. You are prosperous. This is yours. I keep saying, yes, it will be worth it. Yes, it will pay off. You are in the trial. And even in the midst of your trial, your guide, your ancestors will still guide you and give you peace. Call on them. You may feel as if there was a toxic traitor or something in, in the bushes and, and let them be. It, it, the thing is, no matter who, who, what enemies are here, and got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy, they're going to drain themselves. Let them be there. Matter of fact, stare them in their face is what I'm hearing. Watch them. They're going to drain their self because you're being guided away. Your guides, your ancestors are guiding you away anyways. So don't worry about it. Yes, be aware. Yes, be aware. Yes, follow your intuition. Yes, be attentive. But don't invest in the toxicity. Don't invest in the deceit. Don't give it more energy because they're trying to drain you of your energy, but they can't drain you of what you don't give to them. So I'm gonna just drive on by with your chariot. Get on your drone, get on your car, get on your bus, whatever, and go. Continue completing your mission. That's what they're guiding you to do anyways. You've been waiting on this tower moment. Because whoever the, the, the fool is or whatever in the situation, they're going to get kicked out of the tower anyways, left in despair is what I'm hearing. But that, that's not for you to worry about. God was going to bless you in front of your enemies. 
anyways. This is an unexpected change that is going to bring balance and happiness and wish fulfillment within your life. You've been sitting at this stool, at this step, indecisive, unable to see, blinded for too long. They're ripping off the mask and they're giving you something you can invest in for the long term. And that is yourself and your purpose and your mission and your path. Your gods, your ancestors, they want to impress you. They want to give you above your expectations and needs. They want to give you more than more. That's what they are preparing for you. That's this tower. That's the unexpected change. That's what you're waiting on. Success. The fruits of your labor. And you will get there through wise decisions. Through gaining the wisdom. You have the gift of wisdom. I'm hearing Timothy story of Timothy, Paul, you have the gift of wisdom. You are wise. You are the truth. You bring justification to, to, to the world, to others, to yourself. You bring balance. You are an alchemist, another one of your gifts. Look up the definition of an alchemist and what an alchemist truly does for good. When, when, when granted with wisdom, that is one of your greatest powers and you're being guided to tap into that. You're being kicked out of this old world and it feels as if it is unbalanced, but it's because it was an unbalanced world program, artificial matronized world to begin with and God, your ancestors, the world needed to shake it up anyways. You're looking back and what no longer serves you. Let it catch on fire so you can walk through the fire and walk through pure, walk through changed, walk through unrecognizable, walk through the king or the queen on your throne with your head held high with your power and your gifts and your lineage and your fruits. That is what you are meant to do. And that is what they are guiding and helping you do. And do not feel bad about whatever you have to leave behind, whatever you don't feel passionate about anymore. That is called growth. That is called growth. You may have to let go of things that that were that you were emotionally attached to that were not serving you, that were unjustifiable. But you are what 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 is going to be replenished, what is going to be replaced is going to be 10 times more fruitful and prosperous and abundant than what you ever lost. Because what you lost, you never lost. You were being redirected, protected to gain and receive. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys for your reading for today, for your ancestor message. And um, this is a very beautiful message, okay? So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and come back for your next read. Peace.